Jujutsu Kaisen is finally back. We finally have Appa Gundam style Mechamaru, and we have, well, confirmation. There was a traitor amongst the ranks, and how things will play out, all that and more after this. All right, guys, it's going to be a quick one here. Brent here for Geek Variants. We cover all things Marvel, anime, DC, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, and more. We've got tons of videos coming up for you guys. We've got Fiona and Kate coming later today. i got a little bit of a house emergency I'll have to take care of, but I will get to it as soon as I'm done with all of that fun stuff that comes with being a homeowner. But look, Jujutsu Kaisen started off with an absolute bang. The new opening, I have to say, leave your thoughts on it below. I truly enjoyed it. I think the song is amazing for what we have coming up because this is easily the bloodiest arc we have for Jujutsu Kaisen. The most action, the most actual deaths, and, well, the most complications for everything involving our entire story happen in this arc. So, fasten your seatbelts. You thought that they were going to start off with just a nice, easy intro romance episode? No. They decide to finally unveil the big thing that we've all been waiting on. Who's the traitor? Who's the one that's been betraying everybody and giving Ghetto all the information that he needs and helping Mahito further along with his ambitions of helping Ghetto out? It was Mechamaro, and there was kind of an allusion to it within season one. He said, I'll do anything to walk with my friends in the light. Anything literally means I will also betray them, but not them, uh, but the other school, because, you know, that makes the world a better place kind of thing, because he's a little jaded from being stuck in a bathtub for the entirety of his life due to his heavenly pact and all the issues that he had going on with it. He wants to spend his time with Miwa. He wants to get in a relationship with Miwa. He doesn't believe that she would love him if he was truly, you know, just a human's trapped in a bathtub with the most fragile skin that is ever imaginable. It's an agony unbearable to anyone, and that's kind of led him down the path that he has gone down. Now, with everything going on him, unleashing his ultimate mode, it shows you how serious a threat he really realizes that he's in, because Mahito is no slouch. I know everyone thinks he just got one two-piece by Nanami and Yuji, and that was like, oh, he's not that strong, Yuji's not that strong at all, Nanami's not that strong at all. No, both of them together are absolutely very strong. And then if you have to remember that it was Sukuna who helped with the huge assist to make sure that Mahito actually got some actual damage to the point where he's like, okay, this isn't going well for me. I'm going to split. We'll reconvene this at some other point in time. Maybe this season, maybe next season. We don't really know at this point in time. But at this interval, Mahito is very, very powerful. Makamaro, we're still kind of getting an idea of what's going on, but he just used up an entire year's worth of cursed energy in one blast. So, you know, he's going all out to try and either wipe out Mahito so he can get that veil dropped, or just to make a large enough explosion that he can hopefully find a way to get through the veil. Even still, if he gets past Mahito, he has to get through Ghetto. And now that we've understood how strong Ghetto is from his interactions with Toji and his interactions with Gojo in the flashback, which is an absolutely necessity and necessary part of our journey, that now we can understand the level of threat that Mechamaro has now put himself in. And he is just dealing with all the problems all at once in the worst possible manner. And I have to say, animation has been flawless throughout. It re honestly, to me, looked like Gundam was taken to the umpteenth level of animation quality, and Jujutsu Kaisen did its own phenomenal flair on that. And now we get to see how things play out. Leave your thoughts in the comments below, things I got right, things you want to talk about, things you believe will happen next week. We'll be covering each and every episode of Jujutsu Kaisen. Hopefully it'll be a lot sooner this time. It's been a chaotic week this week. I do apologize for that. Be sure to hit that lovely red subscribe button down below. Greatly helps us out. If not, likes, dislikes, comments, all greatly appreciated. I'm Brent for Geek Variants. I will see you in the next video. Have a good one, folks.